All right, we're at bubble eight, lesson 26. We've got our sweet little platform dropping, and they want it to loop back up here. So use the function block to create loop platform function at the bottom of your code. Use the if block inside the function to check whether the platform has gone off the screen and move it to the top of the screen. Call the function inside the draw loop in the update sprites area. Okay, let's do it. So, we're going to create a function. And call it loop platforms. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it in here. And then put that if statement right. If the if the platform gets past 400, then it's going to start back up here. Okay. If and then let's get some math. If the platform on the Y right and Y because it's up and down. Okay, if platform on the Y is greater than meaning it goes past four hundred, then we want platform Y to restart platform Y to restart at this is zero let's start it at like negative five so it comes like right down negative five all right so now we have our loop platforms function and then we need to paw drop it in our draw function update sprites function And then loop platforms. All right, reset it, run it, and hopefully it works. If not, I'm gonna be bumped. Keep going, and there it goes. All right, good. So it's working. Nice. Okay, make a second platform. Making a set second platform is easier. Copy the code used to create the first. Paste it directly beneath the original code and change it from platform to platform two. Okay. So here's our first one. I'm just going to paste it again, show blocks, and this one is going to be called platform 2, platform 2, and platform 2, oh, it's, um, it's on top of the other one, so that's not good. So let's go ahead and move this platform to, let's say, 300. 
platform two, 300. All right. You've done that. Inside your loop function, copy the if statement and paste it directly underneath the original code inside the function. Okay. So here's my uh, if. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it again and show blocks and then changes from platform well, two, sorry, platform two, platform two, get rid of this block. And then maybe I'll change this to like 10. Let's see what happens. All right, it's working. All right, really quick. If we want these to be a little bit different, separated wise, when we create the sprite on the platform, just uh, change it to a much different number, like 200 or something. That way they're uh, not parallel. And that's it. Okay, they want us to now create a star. So we're going to use the create sprite block. Here. I'm going to make a little bit of room. Because why not? Okay. So the first thing I want to do is create a sprite. And we're going to call it star. Okay, star. And they want it to appear at different positions between 50 and 350 on the X and the Y, negative 30 and negative 60. So let's get our random numbers. Uh, 5350, 5350, and negative 3060, negative 30, negative 60, and then set the animation for the star, and call it star. And then the speed, the velocities on the Y. Star velocity Y equals two. All right, let's check it out. There's our star twinkle twinkle. And hopefully it goes in a different position. Oh, we haven't put in the loop yet, so. All right, it's working though, so that's good. All right. Okay, now they want us to create the loop for the star so that it respawns. 
So we're going to create a function. We'll call it loop star. And basically it's going to follow this format right here. So if we'll get our math, just like this one, if the star on the Y If star y is greater than 400, because 400 is down here, then we want the stars x and the star y star x, star y to be random numbers. Okay, so on the X, right, that's going to be this way, we want it to be like somewhere in here, because we don't want it to be like right here, right? So let's go ahead and go like 50 to 350 on the X. 50, 350, and then on the Y... Maybe we'll start at like, I don't know, negative 1 to negative 10. Okay, now here's our function, and let's put it in the draw. Loop star. Yep, loop star. All right, here we go. Run it. There's the bell. Okay, here's a star again. All right, so it looks like it's working, so that is good. Why is it only the left and the right? Hopefully, let's get one around the middle somewhere. Well, it's working, so we'll call it good. Do, do, do. Okay, they just want us to add a second star. So we're going to basically just add all that stuff to our code we already have. So let's create our second star. And I can drag all this in, or I can just copy this. Let's go ahead and just copy that. It'll be way easier. Okay, so here we go. And I'll put it right here. Show my blocks. And then I'm just going to change the name from star to star one. And then we're going to go down to our loop. And again, I'm just going to copy this and paste it again and then change it from star to star one. Okay, get rid of that extra space. If star one, star one, star one, that's right. Okay, we have two stars close to each other. That's nice, very delightful. Hopefully they're separated, and they are. Okay, we're in business, that's it. Done deal.